Hey guys, it's Kevin here, um, and welcome if you are new to my channel. I review all kinds of products. Uh, today's product I have here is um, an Amazon product. It is the Echo Show 8. Um, this is their new and approved um, Echo Show device. Um, they have an 8 and a 5, which I have both of those. Um, huge improvement on Amazon compared to the original Echo Show. Personally, I was never a fan of the original. It wasn't very attractive. Um, so they made it a lot cleaner looking and where it's now a device that I think is worthy of placing in a household. So this is the box that it comes in, pretty straightforward. Like all Amazon items, it is well designed. Um, when you open this up here, it has a little pull out that this comes straight out. Everything's well packaged. Um, what you get is pretty minor. It is the device itself. You get the power cord and then you get a quick um, instruction booklet that tells you how to set it up and what the various things do and then a few um, stock questions that you may want to ask Alexa. So let's go over the device itself here um, and all the features that it does. I'm going to plug this in. So on the device, you have on the bottom here, there's this little rubbery part. This keeps it from sliding around. It also uh, is slightly raised up because they do sell stands. So if you wanted this sitting off your counter or your uh, wherever you have it setting, you can do that. I just keep it um, minimalistic look, which I prefer. Uh, as you can see, this is the screen, um, eight inch screen. Uh, obviously the five inch is smaller. And the back part here is the, the speaker system. It is, sounds great. It has a lot more bass, um, big improvement compared to the um, Amazon Echo devices. So it has a lot better sound quality in my opinion. So um, if you're thinking about upgrading one of those devices, you may want to check out the show because you're going to get the video screen to go with it. Uh, on the back here, you're going to have the power button and then you're gonna have a um, 3.5 uh, millimeter line out. So if you wanted to hook it up to um, an external audio device and you could do that. It also has a USB micro here. I'm not really sure what you would use this for, um, but they it's included. So I don't think this you wanna to try to power it through this, but uh, there is that device there. So on the top here, you have the quick mute button, um, volume down, volume up button, and then this little, doodad is what you turn off your camera. So you just slide it and you can see the white dot, the camera goes away and it turns off. So it's kind of your privacy mode. Um, and then I'll just plug it in here and kind of show you the features. Now, if you're not, if you're new completely to the Amazon devices and the Echo devices, you can do a ton of them, things with them. You can seek them to your calendars. Um, you can get it to read you um, what's going on in your day. You can get you to read emails. Uh, you can set it up to tell you your tailored news, weather, um, basically all kinds of things. There's a lot of settings uh, you can set up to where it's routine. So you can go through, depending on how what level of a smart house you have, you can tell it to good morning and it will um, go through and it'll, you know, cue the lights up to what you want, read your news, calendar, etc. And uh, the device also acts as a um, picture frame, which I think is really cool. That was not something I really was thinking about. So you download their photo app and you can essentially create an album and it'll rotate and show you photos, which I know one of the big crazes out there is the digital um, photo frames. I've even reviewed some in the past, which, uh, for almost the same price, you could get that with this, plus a lot more features. Um, like if you have a Ring or an Arlo or a Nest or something like that, you can even pull up um, to where you can see your security camera. So if you have this at work, you can pull up and see if somebody leaves a package at the front door, etc. So as you can see now that it's powered up, this is the interface screen. You can completely customize the clock however you want. Obviously there's a photo in the background here that you can change through. Um, you slide down, you get your home button, you can adjust the brightness. Do not disturb if you want to use an alarm clock or something. You can set do not disturb hours to where it goes um, basically quiet and won't set off a sound or anything and wake you up. Um, 
Then you got full custom settings here. You can connect things Bluetooth to it. You could pair Bluetooth headphones to it if all of a sudden you wanted to, or you could um, Bluetooth maybe a music player, etc. You connect to your home networks. Um, it's like I said, it's fully customizable. There's a lot of settings. You just kind of have to dig through here and go through them all. One of the things I read when I was buying it that's common on the comments is people complain about it cycles through and it gives you like suggestions of um, like how to make this recipe or what's the latest happening in the news. And a lot of people view those as ads. Once again, those are fully customizable. So you can tailor those to your personal likings or you can turn them off if you don't want to see them. Um, so be sure to check out those settings options. Uh, there is a lot of them. So, and then if, so like I said, scraping down gives you your settings or you can swipe over here. Um, and whoops, now it has a connection error. Oh, probably because it's not connected to my Wi-Fi. So if you go over here, you typically, you will see um, things like you can video, music, um, your alarms, some other quick shortcuts through the Amazon Echo interface. Um, and you can, you can either just tell it like, hey, I want to listen to Spotify or I want to listen to Pandora, pick your station and automatically play that. Or you can swipe over and then select your station if you all of a sudden like, no, you know what? I, I just want to come over and um, select uh, Amazon Music or something like that. So lots of options. Um, it's a very cool device. I'm really impressed with it. A big improvement um, compared to the previous generations. Obviously this, the eight inch is a larger one. This is perfect for um, our kitchen um, compared to, uh, you know, other places in your room. If this may be a little bulky on your nightstand. So that's where I would recommend um, doing, you know, the five inch, if you're gonna have it at work or something like that, or nightstand or, or tighter space. So this is one of those little ad things that, um, People complain about well, you can you can turn you can turn those off. So that's basically it. Um, like I said, uh, if you have any um, questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. I do typically respond. If you found this video helpful, please do hit that share button and like button, and then subscribe to the channel, which does really help me out. Uh, I'll include a link if you want to check it out on Amazon, read what other reviews are, and see what other people are saying about, and see if it's right fit for you. Until the next video, you guys take it easy. Later. You, my friend, are awesome, because you made it to the end of the video. Now, if you want to be a true legend in my eyes, please hit that subscribe button. And in the meantime, if you want to check out some other videos, I would appreciate it. Till the next review, you guys take it easy.